Hey folks, welcome to another VR video. Today I am playing Dream Dev Studios Death Horizon Reloaded, which is the new version of Death Horizon for the Oculus Quest. Uh, this came out just recently, I believe while I was at Oculus Connect, so unfortunately I didn't have the opportunity to go through and play this at release, uh, but now we're about a week out from release and I'm about to play. So I've got look at your left hand, okay? So tilt the joystick and that'll help us to teleport. Release to move, okay. Activate teleportation interface. And then we'll move, aim and confirm. Now we're gonna move here. And take the right hand right there and move up. So the climbing mechanic is definitely new from the Go version of this game. There was no climbing mechanic. That's definite. And I have to say, it works really well. I, I really like it. It is fairly immersive to have this as well. So let's get over here. And here we are. Okay, so... Now one of the things is it it is it does seem to just be teleportation based here. So we're gonna go ahead and grab this Mr. stuff. Survivor, you're not infected, are you? Do something reasonable. Hey, I can see you through the cameras. Try not to die. You hear me? Try not to die, okay. I can try that. So we can turn around. Reload the handgun. How do I reload the handgun? Oh, holster it and then pick it back up again. Okay. And then take the key. We have the key. We're going to use it right here to open that door. Reload. We have reloaded. We got more bullets. So that helps us to see. Right now we have 36 bullets available. Well, let's see if we can read this actually. Yeah, problem has been detected in the computer shut down to prevent damage to your computer. Yeah, that's cool. So we can actually see like the error message there on Windows, all those different folders, they're just named folder. But I have to say, you know, the graphics are sharp enough that we can read that text, which is pretty sweet. A um, little too small on the little monitor in front of us here in this scene. But you know, it works. Let's go back over here, let's grab this. Ah, now I'll go to this door. Grab the key card reader, which is dangerously near the crotch region. That's okay. Let's see, here we go. So we've we've knocked down those guys. Let's uh, ah, there we go. Some bullets. There was a gas can we could have used as kind of some shrapnel. It's a little too late to do that now. Uh oh. Alright, 
So I got those guys. I'm trying to tell if I think we're good. I don't really like that it fades to black like that. That's kind of annoying, but you know. Now I've got two handguns. Four bullets left right now. Right, let's see here. So we've got more bullets up here. I have a feeling we can also. Yeah, we can open this. That's just something we could use to blow up. I don't really need to do that. Let's. I see some more bullets right there. So how are we doing? We've got 64 bullets right now. 54 now that we've reloaded this gun. And we're going to grab the uh, crotchy key card. So we've got some bullets over here. There's some more over there, but we can't get to them yet. Let's grab these. How are we doing? 56 bullets. That's not bad. Now mind you, we've got two handguns, but I, I really I feel a lot more comfortable just using one. The closer they get to me, the easier they are to kill. So let's see what happens here. You need to move. Obviously. I kind of like the fact that I can move around and get bullets fairly easily. That's uh so I'm gonna grab here. guys. And now we're in here. So we've got some lockers here. Let's see what's in them. You made it here. Well, you're not bad, are you? I'll help you. Search all the lockers. So I see that one over there. Aha! Some bullets. I'll take those. I always want to take whatever bullets it'll give me. Nothing in that one. It says it showed me that one. Let's pull this one up from first. More bullets. And here's the one that's got a brand new gun. I suppose I am. Do we have a key card? Ah. This guy. Let's see, there's nothing back here. That's cool. 
There's, we have 24 bullets for the for the big gun here. over here, grab some more. Alright, how are your bullets? We have 34. That big guy scared me a bit. Look for ammo. I did look for ammo. I found lots of it. Didn't you see that? Let's see, is there more here? Maybe in here. Yes, of course. So we have a lot of handgun bullets right now. Not quite as many of the... Let's see if we... No, I can't do anything with this. Let's see. No, that's nothing, nothing there. But let's open this. We just usually have some, some rare treats. Not, nothing, nothing this time though, unfortunately. That's okay. Let's see. Let's go to the store. Alright, my man. How are we doing? 24 more bullets with with the nice gun. Now we've got 54, which is great. And I'm assuming there's probably some more over here. Yes, more bullets. And we're going to go over to this closet. Hopefully there's something in here. Nope, no, nothing in the closet. Let's go over here. And we're loading. All right. So we are in industrial zone four. You survived. I did survive. It's safe now. There's nothing to fear. Huh. You just need to wait for help. Everything will be fine now. Now I have two AR fifteens. And that guy over there seems to have had an unfortunate accident. I just need to wait, I said over there. I don't think I need two AR 15s. Um, I thought I was supposed to wait. And that was all I needed to do was wait. I guess I needed to do more than wait, huh? I'm 
only got six bullets left, so... Here, grab our other gun. We don't have bullets for it again. Stick this one away. That's good. Let's go over here. Something over there, I can't get to right now. Ah! There's a doorway over here. Feels like the way that I came in. Hmm. Yeah, that definitely feels the way I came in. Let's go this way. Nothing in there, okay. That's fair enough. Hmm. There's more bullets over here. So let's grab those. Nothing there for right now. Ah! I basically just dropped the better of the two handguns, but that's okay. Let's go upstairs. Now we're upstairs. We we'll grab this gun just to be safe because who knows what's up here, right? Nothing there. And obviously I could go up there, but I feel like this floor is where I want to start at. Ah, there's a grab here. First, let's, let's grab this desert eagle. Not 
not sure. Not sure what grabbing there actually does. Oh, cool. Here we go. All right, so that was a quick look at Death Horizon Reloaded on the Oculus Quest. I have to say, I, I did really enjoy the Go version of the game, which just used the little click and drag uh, with one trigger Go controller. Um, but this version is so much more immersive because you've got the climbing mechanics. Uh, I just wish it had more than just teleportation to move around because the teleportation is kind of clunky and also made sometimes moving around the zombies um, because it fades to black as you're moving a little bit of a challenge uh, but overall the graphics are great for, for a quest game it is immersive the audio is spatial so I knew when there were zombies behind me or in front of me or to the sides or above or below and it works really well uh, I felt like it was a bit more of a maze than the original game. The original game, you kind of went through those corridors, uh, but you didn't have the ability to climb and move up and down as fluidly. Uh, so as a quest title, definitely one I would say, you know, if you like horror genre games, it is October. It's almost time for Halloween. Give it a shot. Uh, I'm not super into shooters. I'm not shoot super into games where... I have to shoot human-like characters, so it's kind of a, a visceral feeling and kind of makes me feel uncomfortable in zombie games. Uh, but it is a survival game. It is definitely a game that you can play and feel some emotion, feel, feel some fear uh, as you go. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll be back with more VR content soon. Until next time, get out there and enjoy some VR for yourself. And thanks for watching.